Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. That's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. All music in this video was provided by author Infraction. You can check these tracks in his portfolio here and find for yourself great music for your projects and videos. Links to each track which was used in this video is in description. Let's get started. I'm using After Effects CC 2015 and now let's import our file. Go to File, Import, File. Drag our footage to this icon here to create new composition. For this effect we will not use any external plugins. Let's see what they use to make this effect. As you know, I am trying to make my tutorials on lowest budget possible, so this shiny rope is not what I am looking for. Instead, I went to store and my goal was to find a bright green rope like this. In my case, this is a gymnastic jumping rope. Just make sure that it has bright green color like this. You have one rule, you need to avoid any shadows on your rope. Once you have your footage, let's type here key. If you don't have this preset, you can use Keylight 1.2 instead. But I have this preset, so I'm gonna use it. With this color picker, we need to choose this green color here, like this. Then here in screen gain, let's try to remove green color. I'll set it mine to 125. Let's click here to see our transparency. As you can see, we have a lot of noise. So here in screen mate, we can change this clip white. Play with this value to decrease amount of noise. I'll set it mine to 88. This result is good. And also let's enable this effect here. It will remove all of your green color. Now let's precompose this footage. Select it and go to Layer, Precompose. I'm gonna call it Mate and click on this checkbox here. And then click OK. Now let's duplicate this layer. Press Ctrl D on keyboard. And then here in Project Panel Let's drag our footage into our comp here and set it to alpha inverted. So now as you can see we cut out our rope. Let's enable our background. We can also rename it this to background. And then select these two layers above by clicking one of them and hold shift on keyboard and click on other one. Then go to layer, precompose. I'm gonna call it body rope and click ok. Let's change color. Select it and go to Effect, Generate, Fill. I'm gonna set it to Vibrant Orange, like this, and click OK. And then let's type here Simple Choker. Drag it here, and I'm gonna set it to 0.8. We are doing this to see our rope even in shadows, like here. Now let's duplicate this composition, press Ctrl D on keyboard, delete all of these effects, and now let's go to Layer, Precompose. I'm gonna call it Rope Strings. Click on this checkbox here and click OK. Now let's open this composition. Let's apply Fill effect. Go to Effect, Generate, Fill. I'll set it to white. Then let's apply Matte Choker. Drag it over here and let's change this value to 93. So now our goal to make this rope more complex. By changing this value, I'm making my rope a little slimmer, as you can see. Let's also add turbulent displays. Drag it over here, and here in size, I'm gonna set it to 50. As you can see, this size value changes frequency of our displays. Now let's duplicate this layer, press Ctrl D on keyboard, and amount, let's set it to 9. Let's make it a little slimmer, by changing here to 105, and go back to this rope below. Now we're gonna play with this evolution value and offset to create a little bit different look. As you can see, now we have more complexity in our rope. Let's go back to our main composition here. And now let's add some glow. Let's duplicate this rope strings. Press Ctrl D on keyboard. Then go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Blur. I'm gonna set it to 23. Then go to Effect Generate Fill. Again, I'm gonna set it to Vibrant Orange, like this, and then go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And in Alpha Channel, we will make this a little bit brighter, like this. And change Blending Mode to Add. Now we are trying to make complex glow, so let's duplicate this composition again. Press Ctrl D on keyboard. I'll change this Fast Blur to 86, 
this color I'm gonna change to yellow greenish color like this and then I'm gonna duplicate this layer again press ctrl D on keyboard you can play with this value to make this kind of look I'm gonna set it to 180 and I'm gonna change this color to vibrant orange again and this time I want to have this glow a lot brighter by changing this alpha channel here so as you can see with these three layers we make complex glow so here we create a basic color which we can see even in shadows then we created this hotspot with more complexity in strings then we added some core glow then we applied some variation in color and here we added our main glow now let's select all of our layers with the strings press T on the keyboard and here we can change intensity of our glow body rope I am gonna set it to 65 this top layer I'm gonna set it to 57 and intensity of this yellow color I'm gonna set it to about 67 you can play with these values as you like if you want to change this look let's close all of these steps and now to sell this effect of this bright glow we need to add some environment glow let's create new solid go to layer new solid make it also vibrant orange like this you can copy this value here press ok and let's rename it to glow ok now click here and hold and choose ellipse tool here then left mouse click on this area here and press ctrl on keyboard and make this kind of shape and then press f on keyboard and let's set it mask feather to 600 then change this transfer mode to add press T on keyboard and intensity let's set it to 35 now press M on keyboard click on this selection tool here then double click on this point here let's create keyframe by pressing on this stopwatch here and move it over here so now our goal is to follow our rope here move it over and then move our mask like this just make sure your mask follows your rope once you've done it press T on keyboard and then press on this stopwatch here and let's animate our fade out like this as you can see it adds more natural look to this glow and to create sparks I've used trapcode particular and I know that some of you may not have this external plugin so that's why I already made few sparks layer for you and links to them will be in the description so let's work with this center sparks drag it over here change mode to add let's time it well by dragging this layer here and change position to right place okay it looks good press ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate and also let's add it here excellent let's also add some longer sparks I'm gonna use the spark splash again change to add and let's time it well so they start in here we can cut this layer to this moment and let's drag it over here so now we have these cool sparks you can always press R and change rotation like this if you need to change this look and also press S on keyboard to make it bigger and fill all of your screen so that's how you can align your sparks layer with your motion if you want to know how to make sparks from objects you can watch this tutorial to learn how to make sparks using trapcode particular link is in description and now let's go to layer new adjustment layer and let's also add some curves go to effect color correction curves and blue channel I'm gonna make this a lot warmer and RGB channel I'm gonna make this S curve this is a really cool effect because you can easily change colors if you want me to recreate effect from your favorite popular movie or video just write a comment with the link like this and time code I can see them separately in this tab here and then I save them in my ideas folder that's how I choose which effect I'm going to recreate in my next video this is a really cool effect because you can easily change colors just go to body rope and let's change to blue color then go to this rope strings also set it to blue here 
let's set it to blue but a little bit brighter like this and also let's set it here to blue let's apply fill to glow go to effect generate fill and let's also set it to blue and even sparks we can colorize in blue just select one of them and go to effect color correction hue and saturation click on this colorize checkbox here colorize saturation let's set it to 100 and here let's find blue color we can also copy this effect press ctrl c on keyboard and then select each of our other sparks and press ctrl v to paste let's also change our color grading just drag it this blue curve up here and this already looks very cool and that's how you can easily change to any color you want and get new really cool look I want to remind you that all music in this video was provided by author Infraction. You can check these tracks in his portfolio here and find for yourself great music for your projects and videos. Links to each track which was used in this video is in description. Hope you like this effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.